Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. So we're here for another one of our mass making sessions. We are up to week number 149. <laughs> oh my goodness, I know, I'm so boring. I say this every week, but wow. You cannot believe that that's how many of them that we have done. Anyway, for those people who follow my channel, you'll know that we are doing reruns. So we are week number 149. We are rerunning week number 49. So what we are going to be making today are hangy pocket paper clips. Yep, hangy pop, hang. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit of a mouthful and I'm struggling to say it. Hangy pocket paper clips. I should have just stuck with saying it once. Um, and yep, what we're going to be doing is, um, or what you're going to be needing, sorry, not what we're going to be doing, what you're going to be needing. If you are planning on doing a bit of a craft along with me, um, you know, which I would love it if you are, uh, what you're going to need is some paper to form the base of your hangy pocket paper clip. Um, and then either some more to put as the pocket, or, you know, we might be able to just like fold them up. Um, we'll just kind of see how they, you know, how they go. You could use book page or something like that. I wouldn't probably personally use book page for the actual paperclip itself. And if I did use it for the pockets, I would probably double it up. But that's just because I, you know, I tear everything and very clumsy. So I personally would shy away from having something as thin as book page, but completely obviously up to you. If you feel, you know, confident enough using something that thin, then I'm sure book page would be absolutely fine. Then aside from that, you're going to need some glue or a sewing machine. Um, I will probably glue all of mine because, you know, in the mass making especially, I really like to, um, you know, keep it so it's accessible for everybody. And not everyone obviously has a sewing machine or, you know, feels confident using it with paper. Um, and then you're going to need some paper clips. Now, I have to say when I used, or when I made these previously, I used all of these large paper clips. So these are three inch paper clips. Now, I have got um, more of these, but I actually can't remember where I've put them since my move. So, <laughs> yep, I'm going to be using just the handful or, you know, yeah, handful that I've got there. So five of those. And then I'll probably use these ones, which these are a two inch paper clip. So, you know, I'll just kind of have a few of the large ones and a few of the two inch ones. I'm sure it will be fine. Obviously for me, I will probably struggle because, you know, I like to make much bigger things. Um, so for me, that's going to feel tiny, but I mean, obviously, you know, for lots of you, you like making small things and, you know, feel really good or really happy doing it, comfortable doing it. Um, aside from that, you're going to need some scissors and I think that's pretty much it. And of course, then at the end, we will decorate one up as we always kind of do. And, you know, if you want to join in with that, then you may like to have something like, um, you know, lace or die cuts or, you know, any other bits to decorate your pieces up with. But I think that's pretty much it. So let's get having a look at how we make these. Now, I have to say, totally not my idea. This was an idea by the lovely Shell and Clint. Now, Shell and Clint, they were on my design team. They have had to kind of step down for the time being um, due to sort of factors, you know, that they've got going on. Um, so I don't even know if they kind of, you know, uh, tune into craft videos anymore, to be honest. Um, but if you do, then just want to say hi to Shell and Clint. And um, yeah, I really hope that you guys are doing okay. Um, you know, obviously, yeah, I haven't, um, you know, heard from you for a long time, but you know, I really hope that you're doing okay and that everything's well in your world. Now, I've suddenly realized I've cut this way, way, way too wide, even for the three inch tag. I was kind of distracted there by what I was talking about and just, yeah, totally lost focus of the fact that this has got to hang from a three inch tag. So it's still actually too wide. So, I mean, yeah. Right, let's try and concentrate a little bit more on what I'm doing instead of just getting straight into chit chat, honestly. It's, um, yeah, I just love kind of obviously chatting along with you guys that I get straight into the throes of talking and completely forget what I'm actually even doing. So yes, apologies for that. Right, let's have a look. Okay, it's literally only just going to fit on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the top over, which is how it's going to hook onto the paper clip. And then what I'm going to do is just make that top bit slightly narrower so as it feeds onto the paper clip a bit easier because obviously I've left it slightly too wide still. So that now can hang from the paper clip like that. 
And then what I'm going to do is where I have folded this up. Now, the reason I've done this is to kind of show you if you've got double sided paper, you could obviously, you, you know, fold your paper up and use this like a, um, what's the word? Pocket. Mine is not double sided paper. So what I'm going to do is just use that fold line to cut along or cut across. And then what I'm going to do is fold my paper round and I will glue my paper, oops, glue my paper on like that for my pocket. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this down. Oh, I thought my glue was going to not want to play the game. So let me just unclog my glue. Okay. So unclogging my glue and then stick this on like this. So, I mean, they're super simple absolutely you know not complicated at all um you know which is personally my favorite kind of crafting you know who needs complicated in their lives after all life's complicated enough we don't want crafting complications do we so um yeah that's my little pocket there now for me personally i feel better just using my hot glue for things like this so of course you could use your wet glue I'm going to use my hot glue just because, otherwise I'm going to have to kind of clamp this shut with something. Um, oh, well, let's just do that. So, yeah. So I'm just going to wet glue it down into the paper clip like that. And then what you could do is, of course, you know, put something on it, or I can just clamp it shut with oops, another paper clip. So, like that. Just whilst it's obviously gluing together. Um, you know, the reason for why I said about the hot glue is because, of course, then I wouldn't have to actually hold this closed or, you know, clamp it closed. It would just dry and I'd feel confident that it was going to dry, you know, in a matter of a few seconds or a couple of seconds. So that's that. Aren't they just so gorgeous? Now, I will try and remember to um, link um, Shell and Clint's video below. I have to just apologise now. I suspect I will probably forget. So please, please, please do just mention it if I have forgotten to do that. And I can obviously link that retrospectively. So um, yeah, I do apologise. And I know I do say this all the time, but honestly, when I, you know, when I forget to do things like that, it's not deliberate. You know, I just, I've got a really shocking memory. So um, yeah, just do mention it. And I will, of course, then, you know, link it afterwards. So just trimming this down so it hopefully fits a bit better with the paper clip. Cut this down here. And this is from my um, Victorian florals. Now, I think this is from set two, I think. I can't be sure, I'm afraid, so I do apologise for that. And the other one, the other paper that I just used, I just can't remember what it was from. It's one that's in my shop and, um, yeah, I can't remember the name of it. I'm so, so sorry. Um, hmm, if it comes to me at all during the video, I will, of course, mention it. But, yeah, it's um, gone completely from my mind. So, there we go. And then just obviously trim that off because, you know, I didn't make a very good job of cutting it. So, just trim that there. Like that. And then... Get my paper clip. Hopefully this one will fit. Oops. Thought that's strange. No, I think I've still done it a little bit on the wide side, but okay, right. Let's just go over there and then I'm just going to do that same little trick that I did with the other one where I'm just going to sort of go in and make these a little bit slimmer. So that I can pop this down like that. Okay. And that's it. And again, oops, again, just glue that with my hot, uh, wet glue. Fold that over. And then just, you know, press that in nicely. Then just pop a paper clip there to clamp it closed. Like that. 
So, I mean, obviously, like I say, they're nothing complicated at all. And probably you don't probably need talking through anymore because, you know, they're so super easy. I'm just going to have a sip of my tea. So we will just get on and do some mass making, um, probably kind of assembly line style. Um, and just, you know, relax into it and just have a nice catch up and hopefully just a nice time crafting along. So... I'm just going to, um, like I say, assembly line style these. And what I mean by that is obviously each stage do as a sort of separate stage, if that makes sense. So, you know, I'll do all the cutting, all the folding and what have you, you know, in one, um, yeah, one, one hit. So let's take that one down there. And this is from my Pink Ladies um, papers. So like I say, I'm just going to cut this down so I'll get all my pieces cut, you know, roughly to size. I might need to trim them, obviously, when it comes to putting them on the paper clips, but at least I've got them roughly going. This is from my English Country Garden papers, and this one has been coffee dyed, so I'll just cut this one down. Like that, okay. So I hope everyone is having a good day. I hope your week has started out well. This is also Pink Ladies, but this has been coffee dyed as well. Um, you know, if you watch my channel, you'll know that I generally film these on a Monday, ready to upload on a Tuesday. However, obviously due to the fact that we were renting our house out and then going on holiday and what have you, I'm having to kind of condense these. So. I have actually filmed four in the space of a week. This is my final one. So I'm probably completely waffling now and completely run out of conversation. I've got nothing nothing more to talk about. I've drained all um, possible kind of, yeah, things to chat about. I can't really think of anything that I have been doing that's worth talking about, but yeah. So I do apologise if I've been just completely waffly and um, really dull to listen to. But this is Birdhouse Terrace, this um, paper here. Yeah, so I'm filming this, um, well, I guess three weeks. Three weeks? Three weeks ahead, I think it would be. Um, yeah, so I hope that everybody is um, doing well. Oops. Oh, gosh, I can't pick that up. And that, like I say, that you've had a good week. So I'll do a couple of these. So we have been super busy in our house, obviously getting ready for our guests who are coming to rent our house out. And oh my goodness, I had so underestimated just how much work there was going to be involved. Um, yeah, I have to say, severely underestimated it. So oh it's yeah it's not been a good week to be honest oh I'm on the last last day now so I'm on the home stretch and um yeah just got a few more things to do before we pack up and actually leave the house so yeah my daughter's banned now from going in any of the rooms and it's just her and I in the house at the moment because um you know the boys are at work so Yep, it's just her and I in the house and she's been banned now. She's not allowed to go in any of the rooms because they have been now been finished. The only room she can go in is the kitchen. I'm just going to have a sip of my tea. Because all of the other rooms have all been, you know, finished and, yeah, kind of like settled, ready for the guests to arrive. So, you know... Lo and, you know, lo and behold that she would go in there and actually dare to mess a rim up. So she's not even allowed in her own bedroom. Oh, no. how horrible am I? But because all her bed is made up, I've put towels out on the bed and all of that kind of stuff. And so, you know, I can't have her going in there, obviously mucking it up. So, yeah, she's literally just allowed <laughs> in the hallway and the landing. In my craft room, obviously, and in the kitchen. Right, I'll just finish my tea. So I've got a couple more videos that I'd like to do um, this morning, 
well, it's now lunchtime because I've been kind of cleaning and tidying all morning. So um, yeah, I will do just a couple more videos and then just got literally, literally a couple more things to do. So um, what have I got left to do? I mean, unfortunately, more than I would have liked, it's got to be said. Um, oh, what have I got to do? Uh, hoover around in my bedroom still. And what else? Hoover and... Oh, um, just kind of check the bathroom because my son said, oh, well, I've cleaned the bathroom, but you know what children are like. And to be honest, you know, it sounds really mean, but he's idea of cleaning and mine are maybe two different things so I just want to check really that it's kind of you know acceptable by my standards so um yeah mean as that sounds I need to kind of double check in there really and then clean the kitchen empty the fridge and what else um put the hoover round downstairs and then yeah, clean the downstairs toilet and then we're done, I think. So it's been a nightmare, I have to say. It's felt very much like we are moving house. And yeah, I said to my mum, I'm kind of horrified because, you know, I literally feel like we moved house this week. Because, of course, every single room has had to be, like, stripped, basically, of everything that's in there. So, yeah, I think I'd kind of underestimated just how much work it was going to take. This was Birdhouse Terrace. That was Bell... A lot of Bell... Mel Rose Garden um, and then here I've got my country cottages and I just wondered whether they might go with the birdhouse terrace oh it's a bit red probably so I'm going to use this which is the um, pink posies papers I think so yeah anyway so I had underestimated obviously how much work it was going to take and um, yeah I've been quite horrified I have to say so um, I mean hey it is what it is and you know at the end of the day it's it's fine but yes I do feel slightly traumatized <laughs> by the whole thing because um it literally was like moving house and I don't know why that hadn't really occurred to me before because I mean of course it practically is moving house you're emptying every single room much as you would if you moved house so you know why that didn't really dawn on me before I have no idea but yeah it literally has felt like we've moved house and, um, mm, you know, it's, yeah, been a bit, bit stressy a few times, but, oh, well, never mind. And, you know, yeah, we're going to be going on holiday, not for the whole time, but, you know, just, um, for a couple of weeks. So, you know, it's, it's all worth it. So, yeah, can't really complain, but my goodness, just to say it is a lot of work. So, uh, yeah. If, you've, if you were thinking, oh, that sounds like a good idea. Well, I'm not saying it's not a good idea, but be prepared. It's um, probably not quite such a, you know, quite such an easy thing as you think. So, um, yeah, it's been quite a, quite a stress, really. But, but, yeah, anyway, so we're nearly done. I can't wait to leave the house. I never thought I'd say that, but... We're staying with my mum and dad um, at first. And honestly, I can't wait. I just can't wait to get there. You know, because to me, I just think, well, once we get there, hopefully that means that we are done. We are done and there's nothing more that we can do. So, yeah, I can't wait to get there. And, you know, have that feeling of, we're done. There's nothing more that we can do. It's, you know, it's done. So yes, that's um, that's how it's been. <laughs> so yeah, feeling slightly kind of like, well, just just quite stressed this week. But you know, coming to the end of it. But I don't know about you guys, but sometimes, and I don't know why this is, and I find this really irritating about myself. But you know, sometimes once I get to the end, that's when I seem to struggle the most. I'm kind of okay at the beginning, and I think, oh come on, you know, just do it. And then, you know, like, once it begins to feel like, you know, completely and utterly never ending, that's when I start feeling really like, oh my goodness, what have I done? You know, will we ever get there? And I mean, in reality, I don't know why I do that because actually, 
you know, why do I do that when it's coming to the end? Why, why am I not feeling that way at the beginning? But I think sometimes I've underestimated how much work there was. And so at the beginning, I'm kind of quite enthusiastic and think, oh, you know, it's fine. We're just going to do this, just do that, you know. And then it's once I'm kind of properly into it that I'm like, oh, my goodness. This is way bigger task than I thought. I was going to try and put the Country Cottages um, page on there because I've done them in these printouts in this very small size. But to be honest, it doesn't really go on there. But I think it looks quite pretty on this one. So, yeah, let's try and put it on here. Um, yeah, so anyway, we are um, we are nearly done. So my son's just going to finish work and come straight to Nanny and Grandad's house. You know, my mum my mom and dad's house. So I said, see you there later, you know. So, yeah, that's the plan. But honestly, I mean, my poor daughter, I just think, oh, she, bless her, is, you know, really drawn the short straw because she's quite limited on how much she can really do. Um, I mean, she did wash all of our knives and forks yesterday and things. You know, because again, I mean, I have got a dishwasher, but to be honest, often the stuff comes out still looking quite dirty. So, of course, I've rewashed it all, you know, so that when the guests come, it's all really nice and clean. So... You know, I set her to obviously helping, and so she's washed all the knives and forks. You know, but there was all the glasses, the plates, and everything else, and then obviously the insides of the cupboards and things. You know, because you want everywhere to look really clean. And I'm not saying my house was dirty, but you know, kind of the standards that you accept yourself, and the standards that you would expect somebody else to accept are not necessarily the same thing, are they? So, um, yeah, you know, I felt everything needed a. A big spring clean you know even though I mean had it just been us they probably would have you know wouldn't have bothered cleaning it for another year or two but <laughs> you know um, you know your glasses they all get quite scratched going through the um, dishwasher and things like that don't they so yeah I mean if nothing else we've got lovely clean glasses now so you know clean glasses clean knives and forks clean everything so um, yes it's all it's all good I mean, obviously, it probably won't be by the time that we get back. And obviously, the people have been here. They'll probably be back to being quite dirty. But anyway, so that's that one. Yeah, I mean, thank heavens my daughter's got her tablet, to be honest, because um, without that, my goodness, she would be so bored. Are you OK, darling? I was just saying what a good girl you've been. Oh, she's got her headphones on. She probably can't hear me. Oh, you're good. She can hear me. I was just saying what a good girl you've been, darling. I was saying what a good girl you've been. How helpful you've been and how you washed the knives and forks and things, you know. I'm just going to do this one with the hot glue because that's just nice and quick and easy. So, there we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, they're so lovely, aren't they? I have to be honest, I much do prefer them on the larger paper clips. So I'm now thinking I might just do two more, um, you know, on the large paper clips uh, that I've got here and then just hold fire until I find my other paper clips and then, um, you know, hang them on there. Because to be honest, I think they are best on the large paper clips. So, although I said you could use those two inch ones, which of course you could, for me, because I don't really like doing tiny things, I think I will find them just a bit too tiny and frustrating. Well, perhaps we'll do one and just see how one goes. But yeah, I think for me, probably, I'm going to be much happier with them on the three inch paper clip, to be honest. I mean, that doesn't feel that big once you're actually kind of putting your piece on. Oops, okay. Yeah, of course, it's been a bit of a nightmare as well, packing our things, because, and I do apologise if I'm repeating myself, because I've obviously filmed so many videos this week. In amongst all the jobs, I really have lost track of what I've talked about previously, so I really am so sorry if I'm repeating myself. 
Um, but yeah, it's been a bit of a nightmare because we've obviously had to pack up our holiday things and also pack up, you know, for a few days that we're actually staying with my parents as well. So, well, a week that we're staying with them as well. So, um, yeah, that's also been a bit, a bit hairy because, you know, of course that's meant like a bit of thought process going on with, you know, oh, what do we need for the holiday? What do we need for the week before? Um, you know, and all of that kind of stuff. Sorry, I've just got some glue there. All of that kind of stuff. So in amongst the just general clearing out all of the cupboards and everything for the people, there was all the packing for the holiday and the packing for the week before. So, you know, it's not been ideal really. But hey, it, we're nearly there now. We are nearly there. So, oh, can't wait, can't wait to just relax and chill out. Uh, what did I do with that other large paper clip? I haven't done them all, have I? One, two, three. Ah, there we go. It's slightly twisted, this one, but it's fine. Okay. Just check. That looks like it's going to go on. It does. There we go. Oops, I've done that very, very lopsided. Oh. Don't know why I've made such a mess of that and put it on quite so lopsided, but hey, sometimes these things just happen, don't they? Yeah, I mean, thank heavens for tablets because, um, you know, I have no idea what she would be doing otherwise as she's not allowed in any of the rooms now except the kitchen. <laughs> so, um, yes, thank heavens that she's got her tablet to be just entertaining herself on. Otherwise it would be really, really, really boring for her. So, hmm. Okie dokie, right. So yeah, the other ones I think what I'll do is I'm just going to glue them together but then I won't obviously, you know, assemble them until I find my larger paper clips because I think, you know, they are definitely something that I would feel happier being on larger, larger size paper clips. So there we go. on and then this one just going to put those country cottages on there oops there we go like that well, anyway, I mean, at least now I've had a bit of an eye opener as to, you know, what it would be like to move house. <laughs> I have to say, I want to move house even less than I did previously now. Um, yeah, not good. I did say to the kids, you know, well, hopefully this is going to be a lesson to us that we really need to streamline our lives, you know. Don't get me wrong, it's obviously, it's mainly my things. It's not really them. It's my stuff, you know, my clothes, my... <sighs> Just everything, to be honest. I mean, obviously, the ir irony is not my craft room because, of course, you know, I haven't cleared that out because nobody's sleeping in there. Um, so, I mean, I've not even touched that. I mean, had it been the craft room as well, like it would be if you moved house, oh, my goodness, it would be awful. So, yes, this has been moving house all except for the craft room. And, um, of course, that would be the very worst room to do. So it's been, yeah, an eye opener as to just how much work this would be to move house and, oh my goodness, just how much I would not like to be moving house. So, yeah. And of course, all the time you're doing these other things, you know, it's just keeping you away from other things. So I've not put anything else in my shop for ages and ages. So I apologise for that. Um, you know, I'm hoping I'll work on some digitals you know, while I'm at my mum and dad's and then while we're on holiday. Um, I've not done my emails now for about 10 days. I just honestly haven't had a single second. So yeah, I really, really, really apologise. And um, 
hopefully, you know, that's why I just can't wait to leave the house and shut the front door. And then hopefully I'll feel like, right, we're done. I can't do anything else. And then I can just, you know, get on my laptop, do some stuff and, um, yeah, kind of, you know, get some sort of, some sort of normality going on. been so hot this week honestly like boiling absolutely boiling you know how much I love to complain about the weather I mean I'm a typical typical English person we love to talk about the weather all the time so yeah it's been boiling I have to say today it feels still very muggy actually but it's not really well it feels muggy but looking out it's not really sunny so who knows maybe we are building up for a storm I mean actually I hope we are because yesterday definitely it felt like it needed to have a storm you know because it was so 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 muggy and um yeah I think we could really do with something breaking the weather really but um I mean not that I obviously went out other than I had to go and um pick up some more bits and pieces for the guests and stuff but yeah aside from that I didn't go out I mean it wasn't like I was out in the garden or anything like that well except for actually I did about six wash loads so I was constantly out to the garden putting the washing out on the line actually but um yeah each and every time I went out I actually just thought oh thank goodness I'm not out here this is just hideously hot so um yeah there we go but today doesn't really look like that. Like I say, it does feel muggy still, but it's not not looking sunny. So it's just got that, that mugginess. Mugginess, but not sunniness. I know, I'm just making up words now, to be honest. It's been that kind of week. That kind of week where you just have to just make up a few words. <laughs> Okay, last couple here. And then we will just decorate one up. Like that. Okie dokie. Like that. I mean, that's a tiny one. You know, short and stumpy, but... That's fine, I think it's quite nice like that. I don't dislike it. Okay, just two more. Actually, this might, might just fit on one of those two inch paper clips. Yeah, let's try this one because um, this one actually just, it's naturally smaller. So let's pop that on there, press that down and then I'm just going to cut this out or we'll cut this down slightly and then we, you know, we can see how it looks on a little tiny size paper clip. So, okay, hold the top over and then just cut my corners. Okay. Yeah, it makes you so sleepy, doesn't it, when the weather's muggy? I feel really um very sleepy. Oh my goodness, I am making such a terrible, terrible job of that bottom bit. Oh my goodness. Right, um my paper clip. No, I thought I was going to be okay, but no, it needs to come down slightly more. So I probably have to do this and then re-glue that side. That's okay. Yeah, just had a tiny bit of glue there. So I just re-glue re that. And like I say, I mean, you could do these on the sewing machine. You know, you don't have to glue them. Um, the pockets I'm talking about. I mean, you probably could glue around the um, 
sorry, I'm going to have to do this slightly smaller still. You probably could do it around where the paper clip goes as well. I have done that, I think, in the past. Um, well, I have, I have done that in the past. Not brilliant for me um, because I'm not great with my sewing machine. So, you know, yeah, you could do that. But, I mean, for me, I think definitely gluing gluing is preferable although now I'm making a bit of a bit of a hash of this as well so oh dear right yeah so I mean those paper clips they really are quite tiny which is of course you know throwing me right off so yes definitely I would recommend the larger the larger size paper clips but, you know, that's just me. And like I say, I mean, if you're someone who likes making smaller things, you won't find this a struggle at all. I mean, I just... Oops, I'm about to glue that on the wrong side. Um, I just find fiddly or tiny things just way too fiddly. So... Okay. Oops. There we go. That one... Okay, last one. Last one, we will just quickly glue this one together and then we'll just decorate one up. Okay, now well, I've made a terrible job of cutting this one, so it needs quite a bit of tidying up. Just tidy it up there and here at the side. Okay, and then just along here as well. There we go. Right. Okay. Let's clear up all my little bits of scraps now. All my odds of paper. Oops. Okie dokie. Right. Let's decorate one up. Now, let's decorate up obviously one that, you know, we've actually completed. So, I might just take one of these. So, like I say, these are from my um, Country Cottages papers. And... What I did was printed them this, um, you know, three by three size, which that's just kind of accessible on, you know, like your printing options. It can be found there. So, well, definitely on my printer, it can be found there. And I'm assuming that that would be the same with all. But I mean, obviously, without seeing other people's printer setups, it's no guarantee that that would be the case. But yeah, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that that's where it is probably on most, most setups. There we go. Just going to have that little cottage there. And then shall we have something like a... Um, let's just take one of these. Yeah, so that would fit in that pocket, like that. So I think all I'll do is just take a little bit of lace, like that, and Just decide where I'd like that, I think. So, yeah, I quite like that down the side. So I'm just going to ink that up because, obviously, the back has been coffee dyed. So it's quite sort of grungy looking. And this, of course, has not been coffee dyed. So it's quite bright in comparison. So I'll just ink that up. Oh, my goodness. How gorgeous does that look? So pretty, isn't it? So I'll just pop that one down. Again, just using my hot glue because... That will just go straight through that lace and be nice and, you know, instant with the gluing. I don't have to worry that it's not been glued down. I know that it has, which is always a good thing. And then let me just see, just see whether I've got anything else that I can put on there. Got this little label. Got this one, actually. That's quite sweet, isn't it? OK, 
Okay. Like that. Just ink around there. There we go, like that. Isn't that gorgeous? And they're just my labels. I think it's set to um, on there. So, yeah. And that's it. How cute is that paper clip? And obviously, that would just clip onto a page like so. Like that. Obviously, you've got your pocket on there. So, aren't they just so gorgeous? Like I say, completely not my idea. Um, you know, so thank you so much to Shell and Clint for that brilliant idea. Um, but they're just really, really lovely, aren't they? So, yeah, I hope that you like them. How many did we make? Let's just check. Obviously, I have got to now, you know, find my large paper clips and finish them off. But let's just see roughly how many we made. So, we did five complete ones, one decorated. And then we did five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. So, I mean, we did pretty well, I think. So, yeah. Hope that you like them and um, I hope it's brought some inspiration for you. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.